But how can people call for help oh if they don't know who to trust? Right. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. This is what we're going in yes, now, right? Uh -huh. How can I call out for help if I don't know who to trust? Come on. How can I call out for help if the ones that I've been hearing saying come this way have been dogging me that way? How can I call out for help? Do I feel my help right now? Go ahead and God. How can I call out for help if I don't know who to call? How can I call out for Jesus? Uh -huh. But no one is making a sound yes, around me. Right. Oh my God. Yes. No one is being a transmitter of the gospel. Oh, I feel yes, you, oh God. God. Hallelujah. Oh my yes, God. Hallelujah. How can I call out for help? Yes. If I don't know where my help comes from. Ooh, yes, yes. How can I look up to the hills yes. if oh, no one told me to look up to the hills from which cometh my help? How can I look if I don't hear no radio transmission of the gospel of Jesus Christ? How can I call for help? But how can people call for help if they don't know who to trust? <laughs> Glory to God. How? And how can they know who to trust if they haven't heard of the one who can be trusted? Come on now. The message, it, it gives you the answers, and yes. it gives you the questions, right. and it leads you in the right directions. Yes. And then as you read the Bible, yes. you can hear what the Bible says, but if we don't hear the good news being transmitted through the microphone, being right. amplified, we won't know who. Trust in who can lead us yes. in this dark world. It says the word is the lamp yes. to my feet. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Glory to God. Yes. And this is another thing it says. And how can they hear if nobody tells them? Uh, yeah. How can they hear if no one is preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ? How can they hear if we're not on the highways and the byways? How can they hear if we don't share something about Jesus on our Facebook and our media? How can they hear if we don't be an example for Jesus? Yeah. Keep it moving. And how is anyone going to tell them unless someone is sent to do it? My God, we have been sent to do the Great Commission. The transmission yeah. series is yeah. talking about right. the commission. Right. Yeah. Transmitting, moving from one place to the next place in our mission, being about the Great Commission, yeah. telling people how to be saved, yeah. baptizing them, putting them down in the water, telling them, get on the position, get on your post, become a disciple of Jesus Christ, so we can tell the world wow. that they will never regret it. Yeah. We can tell the world yeah. who they can really trust. Right. We can tell the world all you have to do is trust Jesus. Yeah. Trust Jesus. It says, that's why the scripture exclaims a sight to take your breath away. Great processions of people telling all the good news of God. But not everybody is ready for this. That's right. Now that's kind of disheartening. Uh -huh. All of your labor, all what you do, all your labor of love, all your seeds you sow. People are really not ready for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. People just want a quick fix. Uh -huh. They'll make you tired because you're doing the work. You're like, Lord God, what's really going on? Be encouraged. Be encouraged. It says, but not everybody is ready for this. Ready to see and hear. And this is a good three-letter word. A-C-T. Act. Act. Yes. My God. Act. Isaiah asked, what all, uh, uh, excuse me, Isaiah asked, what we all ask at one time or another, does any word care, God? Ooh. Mm. I have those moments sometimes. I ask this, is anybody caring, Lord? Uh, all right. Uh, Lord, all right. do they hear us? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, yes. Put no other God before me. So now we got to think, are we putting our job before God? Mm. Are we putting our kids before God? Mm. Are we putting our family before mm. God? Are we putting our sports before mm. God? What are we putting before God that's going to make God jealous or make God look at us like, I just brought you out of that. Now you want to turn your back on me. Right, right, right. It says, I'm married to the backslider. Yes, but if you don't know that, how would you know? Amen. If you never heard a preacher preach that, how would you know? Because they right. said this, we are the people's Bible. Uh-huh. We right. are the people's preacher. Yes, Lord. Right. Some people would never come to church. 
Some people would never turn it on with that AM radio. Uh -huh. Some people would never do that because they like, I don't think I'm good enough. Mm. I don't think I'm good enough. I have so much sin. God won't love me. I'm just too dirty. I'm in something right now. Glory to God. But there's some people in the Bible who were saying the same thing. Yes. Talking about a couple weeks ago, it was a woman at the well, and she was like, I want some water. But he said, if you drink of me, you will never thirst again. Yes. There was another lady who was going through, and she said, man, all I got is this alabaster box. Uh -huh. I know this. It's people in the Bible had the same questions, but you know what? The disciples, the apostles, preached by radio transmission. They didn't have nothing to amplify their voice, but they were preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Which is the good news and the people.